Welcome back to Red Recapped. Today, I'm gonna break down a 2021 drama action flick titled, Old Henry, get ready for some spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. In 1906, in Oklahoma, there's a man named Brannigan who's trying to get away from three men with sheriff badges, Dugan, Stillwell, and their leader Ketchum. No matter how fast Brannigan runs, he gets shot and caught. Ketchum kicks him a few times, demanding to know where another guy they're hunting is hiding, but Brannigan won't tell. This angers Ketchum, so he ties Brannigan to a horse and drags him along the ground until Brannigan finally reveals that the guy they're after went east. Instead of setting Brannigan free, Ketchum kills him. Meanwhile, there's an older man named Henry McCarty and his teenage son Wyatt living on a farm. Henry originally came from New York and traveled a lot before becoming a farmer in Oklahoma. Unfortunately, he lost his wife to tuberculosis, but her brother Al frequently visits to help out and be an uncle to Wyatt. Their lives are peaceful and enjoyable, but they often argue because Wyatt wants to travel and learn how to shoot a gun, which Henry refuses to allow. Early in the day, they spot a stray horse with a bloody saddle and no rider. Wyatt brings the frightened horse to the farm, while Henry mounts his own horse to investigate. He eventually discovers an unconscious man named Curry, who has a gunshot wound to his shoulder. Henry improvises a makeshift bandage using mud and a handkerchief. He also finds a gun and a bag of money, indicating trouble he'd rather avoid. But his conscience gets the better of him, so he returns, collects everything, erases any evidence, and brings Curry back to the farm. With Wyatt's help, they place Curry on a bed and tend to his wound. As night descends, Henry stashes the gun and money in a hidden compartment in his closet, unaware that Wyatt is secretly watching from under the door. The next morning, Henry decides that the wound won't heal without removing the bullet, so he plans to go to town to fetch a doctor. Before heading out, Henry ties Curry to the bed and leaves a knife to cut the rope on the night table. Once his father is gone, Wyatt sneaks into Henry's closet to explore the hidden compartment. Upon discovering the money in the satchel, he takes the gun outside to practice shooting at a bottle, although it takes him a few attempts to hit his target. Inside the house, Curry, still asleep, hears the gunshots and has a dream about the night his home was burned and his family was killed, while someone told him to keep his head down. Shortly after, Wyatt returns the gun to the closet and seizes the opportunity to open an old box hidden there. Inside, he finds another gun and a collection of newspaper clippings detailing various crimes. Meanwhile, on his way to town, Henry realizes that Ketchum and his men have been tracking Curry's trail. Stillwell is a skilled tracker and notices that someone has tried to cover Curry's tracks, indicating that their victim might be collaborating with someone else. These men hear some noises in the tall grass and fire shots, but luckily, Henry is already running away before they discover him. Back on the farm, Wyatt notices that one of the ropes around Curry's hands is somewhat loose, and his other hand is concealed beneath a blanket. When Wyatt uncovers it, he realizes the rope is gone. Seizing the opportunity, Curry stops feigning sleep and frees himself. He grabs the knife from the night table and startles Wyatt, swearing that he doesn't want to hurt him but just wants his satchel back. Just as this unfolds, Henry returns and kicks Curry away from his son, then punches him until Curry loses consciousness again. Subsequently, they secure Curry to a chair and wake him up. Realizing it's too perilous to go to town for a doctor, Henry proceeds to use a heated knife to extract the bullet from Curry's wound while asking him questions. Wincing and crying out in pain, Curry reveals he's a lawman and urges Henry and Wyatt to leave before it's too late. They successfully remove the bullet, but before Henry can inquire further, Ketchum and his men show up outside the house. Henry grabs Curry's gun and notices it has already been fired, so he reloads it before going outside. Ketchum introduces himself as a sheriff, with his partners as his deputies. He explains that they're searching for Curry, who they claim is a dangerous criminal and a murderer posing as a sheriff. Intrigued by Henry, Ketchum starts asking him personal questions, especially when he hears the name McCarty, which is connected to a criminal from the past. Henry assures them he has no family, ruling out any connection to Curry, and he hasn't seen anyone matching Curry's description. He dismisses the men. Before leaving, Ketchum advises them to lock their doors that night. Back in the house, Henry is upset and slaps Wyatt for using the gun. Wyatt admits he only wanted to know what it feels like because he's the only boy in the area who was never taught to handle a weapon, so he had to teach himself. Henry slaps him again, and in his frustration, Wyatt insults his father, calling him worthless and predicting that Henry will end up alone because he'll leave the farm as soon as he's able. Trying not to dwell on the hurtful words, Henry returns to interrogate Curry. Curry claims he's the real sheriff and that the trio are actually bank robbers who killed Curry's deputies and stole their badges. Curry managed to recover the money but got injured in the process. He passed out and fell from his horse while escaping, only to wake up on Henry's farm later. 
The reason Ketchum didn't shoot Henry remains a mystery to Curry, but he's convinced they'll return for him. Meanwhile, Ketchum and his men discuss the situation. They don't trust Henry and wonder why he's aiding a stranger, suspecting he might have been promised a share of the stolen money. Dugan is puzzled about why they didn't shoot Henry when they outnumbered him. Ketchum believes something unusual is at play. He doesn't think Henry is motivated by money, and Henry didn't handle the gun like an ordinary farmer would. Their plan is to gather more information, so Dugan will keep watch on the farm while Ketchum and Stilwell go procure firearms and pay a visit to Al. As night descends, Henry insists that Wyatt completes his farm chores and head inside because it's too dangerous to be out so late. Later, Henry personally feeds Curry some soup, prompting Curry to complain about still being tied up. To assess whether he can trust Curry, Henry begins asking him questions about his past. Curry shares details about the people he has worked and lived with, mentioning names that Henry recognizes from his own travels. He also apologizes for jumping on Wyatt, explaining that he was frightened and disoriented when he woke up in an unfamiliar place. Henry's face triggers a sense of recognition, but he denies having met Curry before and decides to free one of his hands. As a test of trust, Henry leaves his gun on the table and goes to refill his glass, watching to see if Curry would make a move for it. To Henry's relief, Curry doesn't. Instead, Curry continues to recount stories from his childhood, including the time he witnessed Billy the Kid being shot. It's Billy's voice that Curry heard in his earlier dream. Listening to these stories and observing Curry's behavior, Henry finally feels confident in trusting him. He frees Curry's other hand, returns his gun, and instructs him to leave the house before the criminals return. However, before they can discuss this further, Dugan suddenly starts shooting at them through the window. In the midst of the gunfire exchange, Curry fires back, and Wyatt, drawn by the commotion, gets a bullet grazing his arm. Still in pain from his wound, Curry passes out. Henry seizes Curry's gun as Dugan sneaks beneath the house, firing through the floor each time Henry moves. Formulating a plan, Henry hands the gun to his son, offering some shooting advice, and then distracts Dugan by throwing a book on the floor, causing him to shoot in that direction. Henry uses this diversion to make his way in the opposite direction. Armed with his rifle, Henry goes outside and starts shooting under the house until Dugan emerges, having been shot in the leg. Henry confronts him, attempting to extract information, but when Dugan remains silent, Henry resorts to killing him. To dispose of the body, he feeds it to the pigs after noticing a gang mark on Dugan's skin. Following this ordeal, Henry tends to Wyatt's wound while evading his son's questions about his own past. Wyatt perceives that his father doesn't respect him, and Henry seems to anticipate that he can't necessarily expect respect in return. After checking on Curry, who is once again plagued by dreams of the fire, Henry goes outside with his rifle, preparing for the worst. In the morning, Al goes bird hunting, making himself an easy target for Ketchum and Stilwell, who want to extract more information about Henry. Al, however, remains tight-lipped and attempts to defend himself, but he ends up knocked unconscious. Back on the farm, Henry and Wyatt assist Curry in getting dressed, intending for him to leave. However, Curry can barely walk, let alone ride a horse, so he insists they should go while he stays behind to handle things. Wyatt, wanting to defend his home, is eager to stay, but Henry agrees with Curry's plan and prepares his son to leave. Unfortunately, when they step outside, they are greeted by an unpleasant surprise, Ketchum and Stilwell have returned, accompanied by a group of hired guns. Father and son hurry back inside as Ketchum proposes a deal, surrender Curry, and they'll be allowed to leave unharmed. Henry refuses, so Ketchum takes it a step further by revealing that they've captured Al, who is injured and bleeding. Furious, Henry grabs his rifle and hands Wyatt the gun, instructing him to stay inside, away from the window, and to use the gun only if absolutely necessary. Ignoring Curry's pleas to hand him over, Henry goes to confront Ketchum, who confesses he isn't a sheriff and is burning with curiosity to discover Henry's true identity. Ketchum proposes to exchange Al for Curry, but Henry refuses. Since neither he nor Al are willing to reveal any secrets, Ketchum coldly kills Al on the spot. This prompts Wyatt to emerge and start shooting, prompting Henry to quickly pull him back inside as the gang retaliates, injuring Curry's leg when he approaches the window. After scolding Wyatt for acting impulsively, Henry tells him to keep his head down. Hearing these words, which echo his dream, Curry finally connects the dots and realizes that Henry's true identity is none other than Billy the Kid. He didn't perish in the fire, he escaped. However, Henry pays no heed to Curry, focusing on retrieving his old gun and holster before heading outside to join the firefight. With unerring accuracy, Henry dispatches several gang members before slipping back into the house through a window. He creates a hole large enough for Curry to join the fray, and Curry manages to eliminate a few of the remaining assailants. 
As the rest of the gang begins to surround the house, Henry grabs a knife and exits through the back door, silently moving through the area, he dispatches two criminals with the knife before taking cover beneath the house and shooting a third. Henry then encounters Stillwell, who attempts to use his knife, but Henry swiftly eliminates him before he can make a move. Only Ketchum remains, hidden behind the pig pen. He manages to wound Henry in the shoulder before Henry lures him into the woods to engage in a shootout. Both men take cover behind trees and exchange shots, but Henry's marksmanship prevails, hitting Ketchum in the leg and shoulder. Henry closes in, and Ketchum lands one final shot before Henry ultimately defeats him. Fortunately, the wounds aren't severe, so upon returning to the farm, Henry tends to Curry's injuries and his own. When Henry tears off Curry's sleeve to examine his arm, he makes a shocking discovery, Curry bears the same gang mark that Dugan had. In response, Curry shoots Henry for having seen it. Technically, Curry didn't lie, he admits to having been a sheriff, but a corrupt one. He and his deputies had collaborated with Ketchum in the past. However, they got wind that Ketchum planned to eliminate them during their last job, prompting Curry's attempt to escape, setting off the chain of events that led to their encounter. Henry is in agony but not quite dead yet. Curry, with a desire to be the one who killed Billy the Kid, prepares to finish him off. However, before he can pull the trigger, Wyatt arrives and shoots Curry first. Wyatt intends to seek medical help for his father, but Henry explains that it's too late. He imparts some final words to his son, recognizing that Wyatt will hear countless stories about Billy the Kid in the outside world. Henry wants Wyatt to know that only half of those stories are true. He admits that he hasn't been a good person and doesn't believe in redemption. Throughout it all, he's been trying to find some solace by raising a good son. Henry believes he doesn't have a place in this new world, but he is confident that Wyatt does. With tears in his eyes and a heavy heart, Wyatt lays his father to rest beside his mother's grave. Once he gathers the emotional strength, he packs his belongings and departs from the farm on his horse, setting out to explore and travel, fulfilling his long-held desire. That's all from the video. Thanks for watching and take care.